Benjamin, boys and girls, I am Leo Styles, and I'm at LA Comic Con. I got a question for you. Are you here for the Bullet Club? Are you here for WWE? Are you here for TNA? Are you here for the gorgeous ladies of wrestling? Now, I'm going to try to interview all the ladies here. Now, stay tuned. And as much as I want to T-Sweet you, I can't because guess what? This is not that. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, normally I would like to give it like a huge introduction, but these ladies right here shouldn't need an introduction because guess what? You should know. As much as I'm a wrestling fan, as you guys would know, of course, the women's revolution would not be started without these ladies. If these are the gorgeous, amazing women of GLOW. I know. Thanks, Paul Heyman. So, so I'm with... Melody Trouble Vixen. I love the thing. Rock and roll is my thing. So come on and sing with me a sweet rock and roll melody. And I'm also with Lightning. All bad guys will be in the morning. When I issue my storm warning, I take to the air and I give flight, and they will know they've seen the light. Woo! First off, both of these ladies can probably kick my ass, so I'm gonna try to keep this short. You like it though. Yeah, you would. We do we we do it right. Oh my. So, first off, you know, what brought you, so like, you know, you ladies are basically like what actually started the revolution. We were the very first women's wrestling, all women's wrestling show ever in history. As a matter of fact, we received an award. We are in the Cauliflower Alley Club Hall of Fame as, Fame, yes, for being the very first all women's wrestling show. Of course, and as much as we give credit to women like, Let's just say off the top of my head, um, Sable. These women start. Awesome. They're all awesome. We like them. No, I'm not giving them not credit. But I say as much as we give them credit, we want to give you ladies as much credit as possible because guess what? You guys took it to another level. And I thank you guys for that because without that, we wouldn't have had as much entertaining wrestlers as, for example, one of the uh, one of the WWE divas that was going to be here today. Well, not. I don't. I think she's supposed to be here today. Uh, Melina. Melina's here. I, we, we know Melina. <laughs> I work with Melina. She's a sweetheart. <laughs> we worked with her. Yeah. So. We just worked with her at CAC. Oh, really? Oh, God. Did, didn't work me around. Was Melina there? Was it Malia or Melina? No, you're talking about Malia or Melina. Melina. You know, no, WWE no, no, Diva? No. Oh, oh, this is a good no. one. Melina. Wow. Yeah. Like, WWE Diva, yes. women's oh, champion. She's so beautiful and such a nice, kind soul. I love her. Yeah. See, we belong to the Cauliflower Alley Club, which is an organization of wrestlers and ring fighters and stunt people. And so we meet a lot of these people, you know, at the convention every year. So it's a benevolent organization because a lot of these old guys, they can't even pay their bills because wrestling doesn't have insurance. So they can't pay their medical bills and the CAC helps them with that. So we, we, we see these people, we get to know them there. So what's actually really important, since um, we're actually on this, um, is, like anything that you guys would love to plug? Because first off, I'm an author. I'm a published author and a screenwriter. And this is my book, Banners of Avalon. And it's a sci-fi fantasy series. You can get it on um, Kindle or at Melody Trouble Vixen at Outlook.com. You can send me an email and um, autograph copy. I'll send you another grandpa. So, this is actually something big. So, like, seriously, you know, follow her. Buy a book. Do you know how hard it is to get an autograph copy? First edition, too? They just email me, MelodyTroubleVixen at Outlook.com, and um, it's with postage, it's $15. $15? Yep. I'm going to be honest. You can't really get anything for $15. So, the fact that you're getting a book that's autographed, really first edition. Cool. Very interesting. Trust me, it is. But hold up. So, because as you see right there, can we, cameraman, cameraman, can we, if, you know, she's walking away, she doesn't want to hear me, no problem. But she, as you clearly see, this, we have someone here that's dressed as Paige. 
so the fact is this women wrestling has been helping and basically growing and just most importantly we want to thank you ladies for your well service and Netflix did a, a show about us about what we did Netflix flow, so that's very i'm very honored we also have a pay-per-view on netflix uh the the true story of the documentary i'm sorry anyway um and there were girls at pre that were before us we just helped put wrestling on the map basically but before us there are a, a phenomenal amount of wrestlers they were wrestling in the 40s and the 50s the women but the women didn't get the publicity they didn't get the shows they would wrestle and then they wouldn't air the rest of their matches fabulous mula yeah. um yes yeah, so, oh there's a ton of them as a matter of fact, Matilda the Hun, Queenie Booher, used to wrestle a bear back in the day because she couldn't get a, a match to wrestle. She'd wrestle men and she'd wrestle a bear because they didn't want to see women wrestling. So. Nobody wanted to wrestle somebody her size. I mean, she's six foot five and it's like monster in the ring. So what are you going to say? I didn't even want to wrestle her. I'm a, I'm a flyer. I jump fly I, and I, I, yeah. I Pile drive lightning every chance I got. Yes, yes. Or swing her guitar up. That's right. She, she's trying to help her That's right. I don't know if you guys even remember El Kabong, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody does. I apologize. I just broke character. I'm supposed to keep a straight face, but that was great. <laughs> so. Here, let's hand this mic. I'm scared. My name is Melody Trouble Vixen. A rock and roll match is what I'm fixing. I'm a ready to rock it. Ready to roll wrestling is my blood and Elvis is my soul. There you go. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay, I'm gonna leave it. Oh. So I'm I'm somebody and this is um Comic Con. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Oh god. Oh God, this is happening! Stay, stay. This is happening! Don't move. So I'm taking over his show, and I'll be your now your new host from now on because he won't be able to walk. Uh oh, he's up again. I guess I'm fired, and he's on. I have to give it back to you. I'm somebody, and I'm at some place, and we should probably take me to a hospital. But you should probably check out the Ladies of Glow on both Netflix, and then check out her book. And then not make her mad because I forgot who I am. I think I'm Professor P. But yeah, um, hi-o. All right, we are back. This is Professor P because Leo Styles is seeking emergency medical treatment. But we are back with Lightning because, well, we forgot to show off some of Lightning's beautiful artwork here. So please tell us a little bit about this is all my art. I'm an artist. I've got my logo right there. And kind of intense. I know I'm supposed to be a good guy, but I'm. This is what's going on in my brain. Sorry, guys. <laughs> well, no one says you can't be a good guy like Batman, right? Right? The female Batman. I'm, I'm, I'm a darker version of Lightning. How's that? There you go. I like it. Dark Lightning. Yes. <laughs> That's a good name right there. Dark Lightning, what do you think I like? I love it. Yes. I love it. All right. Yes, thank you for coming me. Oh, my uh, uh, Facebook, Cheryl Lightning Rusa. And my website, uh, acmekidparties.com and littlebrat.com and lightning1.com. And you can find us all on Facebook. If you find one of us, you'll find all of us. That's right. And, oh, wait a minute. Oh, cruise, Afterglow, cruise. Afterglow. You ahead. need to come to the Afterglow fan party at sea. You go to www.afterglowatsea.com. We, we vacation with our fans. We're That's there right. with them the whole time. No one else in the industry does this. We have a cruise We have in so March, much fun. In March, out of New, New York. York. And it's going to the Bahamas. www.afterglowatsea.com. Come party with us. You will be very well protected. That's yes. right. <laughs> Just don't be mean to us. Yeah, you don't want to make that same mistake as Leo. I'm the smallest one in the group, almost. So imagine making a bigger girl mad at you.
what? This is day three, and guess who I'm with? MTV. Yeah. Guess what? This time, I hope that Lightning won't try to kick my ass again. I actually suck. Like, luckily. I'll defend you if she does. You wa you grabbed the mic and watched. <laughs> you literally grabbed the mic. You did commentary, and basically watched. That too. But. Fabulous. I thought it was fabulous. You just fabulous like Mula. So, um, the reason why we're doing a day, well, well a second part, because, this, well, we could have recorded during the panel, but the reason why I didn't, because I made the solemn decision not to, is because she has a web series. So, let's talk about that. Okay, it's called The Afterglow, and it's just, I wanted to document the gorgeous ladies of wrestling and what we're doing and what we're into because you know who knows how long this is I hope it goes on forever but you know I wanted just wanted to chronicle the glow girls and um, what we're into what we do and our interests so and my it's on my web channel uh, Melody Trouble Vixen is my YouTube channel and it's called the afterglow and the Cruise episode is out. I'm putting together a convention episode, which includes CAC and the honor that we received. So first off, that's amazing. Um, I know that, you know, we're a YouTube channel and we really should be promoting YouTube channels, but this is the thing. Um, the ladies of GLOW have been so nice to us, so nice, that I just felt in my heart that I had to at least give us a little bit more back. I know that we dedicated an, this, an episode by themselves just for uh, Glow at LA Comic Con, but I wanted us to do just a little bit more. Instead of just like getting more members, just wanted to come back to MTV and, and talk about it. question that you wanted to ask me about? Actually, besides the um, show, my question is, well, besides why did you let Lightning Belt give me a concussion, um, well, don't worry, it was mild. I don't need to go, or, exactly, I just came back a day later, it's Sunday, I fell on Friday, we're not going to talk about that, that's religious, but anyway, I just want to know, like legitimately, because you had amazing matches, so even though you said it in your series, what is one of your favorites, and I know I got the laser glow right behind you, so basically you got to make it good, because you know, don't belong. Don't get me wrong. They're gonna probably kick your ass later if you don't. Well, I really any match where uh, Fiji threw me out of the ring was always fun. Loser does laundry was great. We got to, you know, th throw soap and stuff all over each other. And I really loved um, Ninochka with Colonel Ninochka. It was a great match. But you wanted to know about um, saving someone's life. You had that question. You said that yes. I, I've been trying to cue him for five minutes about this, his question that he wanted to ask me, and he totally washed. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell it. Um, oh, it was right before we started doing Afterglow, a young man wrote to me and said that I saved his life. I, he sent me an email, and he said that he was gay, and he couldn't come out to his parents. He was afraid to come out to his parents. And he watched me on TV and saw that I was so outrageous in front of the entire world. And if I could be so outrageous in front of the entire world, then he could come out to his parents. And so he was going to commit suicide. He said, no, no, not this guy. No, no. got to make that clear. It's not him. I'm here because she wanted to prove how outrageous she is. Yes. No, he said that... that <laughs> that I was so outrageous in front of everybody that, um, you know, if I could be that outrageous, then he could certainly come out to his parents because, you know, anyone on earth could see my crazy costume, my pink and green, my headbutting people at random. And so he said that he decided to not commit suicide and come out to his parents. And to me, if I could even help one person, and I never intended for this to be you know, I was just there to entertain and have fun. And the fact that I helped someone, it makes it all worth it. And I love, this is Robert. Come here, Robert. He's, he's mine. This is one of our glow boys, and I love this man. And they're not fans. They're not family. They're family. And they are, we're all family now. So you're part of the family. This is what 
family is for yes. F is for family. That's right. So I'm taking over his show. <laughs> and he, he's never coming back. Oh, he is. Come here. No Come here. Cares. Come here. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give it back to you since it's your show. Wait, wait, wait. I'm good like that. I'm magnanimous. Wait, wait. Okay, um, I think I'm at San Diego. I'm at... No, no, you're This is San Diego. This is... And where's the con? I'm at the Glo Um, I am Los Angeles. At the Glow booth at Stanley's LA Comic Con. What she said. That's right. Back to uh, you. Jesus, take the wheel. Um, this is um, I'm Professor J, and this has been um. I'll go night night. Well, I have almost died about three times. And this is, might be the most terrifying one so far. I don't know how this is gonna end. I'm with. Matilda the Hun from the gorgeous ladies of wrestling. Hello. Matilda's belly is made of steel My legs are iron, my arms will kill I tear my opponent limb from limb But Matilda the heart, you'll always wear the I wrote the original rap song, did you know that? So I got two things from that One, I am probably crap myself And two, I'm actually highly, highly, highly impressed Because that's only a great song, for the record Thank you The Super Bowl Shuffle got nothing on that so, like... You know, that's funny. I, I got it from the Super Bowl Shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I thought it was so cool, and rap was just coming out. And I said, we've got to have a rap for this show. And I was one of the first original girls, and I said, told Matt Simber, you've got to have a rap. And he says, yeah. So my partner, uh, Hank Donick, and I started writing the lyrics and doing it. We're the gorgeous thing and stuff, wrestling. So it's very cool. So cool. Yeah. Right. So first off, that's exactly one of my questions already. Cause I was say like, how did you guys come up with that? But Chicago Shuffle, man, they're the first ones to do it with sports entertainment. So we said, yeah, that's right. Oh, who was it? Who was it? The, the big uh, football player. What was his name that did it? I can't um, remember. Anyway, he's so cool. I literally forgot his name, but I forgot too. But hey, wherever you are, baby, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you gotta have a huge, huge match. Cause you, wait. First off, this photo right here. Me and Al Can you pass me that real quick, please? Yeah, Al so, that if you, married to children. so, this is the thing. Um, if you go on MTV's well channel, you can clearly see that I referenced that they were doing cameos. This is what I was talking about because I remember this episode. I didn't even need to actually Google this one because I remember this. This is actually one of my favorite episodes. Yes, and this is. Out. This is the bar scene. It's different. The first, uh, the first one was married with children was with his mama. She airplane spins them and dumped them down, and then sat them. <laughs> I like to do that too, but in this case, I got Bud, and I took him in the back room and had my way with him more. <laughs> See, this is the reason why I'm scared. So, I'm gonna wrap this up because I'm actually shaking now, and. Back? Yeah, let's put that back. Let's take a look at that one. So that was the original Hollywood and Vine and Matilda the Hun. They were my seconds. We we were the first. This is the original characters. This is when Hollywood before she became just Hollywood. Hollywood and Vine. And there's Matilda. They and we she we did the Gestapo match. Oh my God, we were wicked together. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Bad, bad. <laughs> so I'm gonna end off right here because I'm still in one piece. And clearly say this, if you have not seen any of the original Ladies of Glow matches, please go on YouTube, check it out, you're going to enjoy it. So with that said, I'm Leo Stiles. And I am... Wait, what? No, Matilda no, no. Matilda Hun and I'm, Queen Kong. Oh. Go to my website, queenkong.com. <laughs> or else. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Oh, that, that, that happened. Oh! <laughs> so, oh! So this happened. <laughs> um, uh, hi, guys. I'm with the Royal Hawaiian, uh, the original Glow Girl.
And um, you guys probably seen I've been headbutted, kicked, and attacked. So don't get me wrong, she's the baddest of the bad. So I'm gonna be very cautious. So first question is, um, you know, how you been lately? I've been great. Don't be scared. I just crush pineapples and female wrestlers in the ring. And I've been good. But I've also been really bad. So you don't have to be afraid. I'll be nice today. That's what Lightning and MTV told me. OK, so first off, because I'm, I'm afraid my head is just kind of like the same size as a pineapple. So um, <laughs> so um, question two is you had, I'm going to be honest, and I'm going to probably break a little. You had an amazing career in GLOW. You have, honest to God, like, we've seen the panel. If you have not seen the video clip from it, please go online. It's from the Battle Royal. Or, what, what was it called? The, the multi-woman match that you was in, and you dominated. Gosh, you know what? I have such a bad memory problem, which was an occupational hazard. So I don't remember a lot of it. It's 30-something years ago. But anyway, I did dominate. I was the glow champ for quite a while. And uh, my my move was the Hawaiian crush. I would jump from the top ropes and turn you too much. <laughs> so, uh, but I'm, I'm actually really nice. So I'm not gonna do anything today to hurt you. I'm, I'm a little banged up, so it's your lucky day. Define lucky. So, so this is the thing. Um, Right now, we're actually, so I had this conversation with multiple different, well, of your peers. Um, when it comes down to it, women wrestling has literally evolved since that time. But this is the thing. As much as people is like, well, we're now in the era of the women's revolution. It's n let's be honest, it's not the women's revolution. It's been fighting for years with, the, for example, the women of GLOW, with the... So with the fabulous Mulo, with God, I keep forgetting the other one. Mae Young. I'm sorry. Honest to God, I'm even sorry for that. But it's a huge thing to actually watch the evolution of women's wrestling. So of course, you know, with this new, you know, like generations out, is this anything you actually want to tell them or anything you wanna like say directly to them? Or even like the child that's right there that's actually just for some strange reason shouldn't be watching, but watching this. I, um, I'd like to let the girls know, I mean, we were the pioneers of female wrestling. Uh, we were the first all-women's wrestling league. Um, I was a tomboy and I grew up between two boys, my two brothers, and so I wanted to do whatever the boys wanted to do. And um, I felt I could do it, so I would encourage, you know, anybody, not just girls, but to go after what you believe you can do. Don't let somebody tell you you can't do it. Um, our, our league, we've been honored because of what we did with GLOW. And we were um, at the CAC in Las Vegas this May. We received an award there. We will be inducted into the Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame next May in Texas. And they will then have a display of GLOW at their museum. So we're looking forward to that. But I would just tell girls today, you know, this was 30 years ago, over 30 years ago. And I was able to participate in something that's been you know just unbelievable we never thought 30 something years later that we would still be involved in the wrestling show with glow so now with the netflix show it's kind of like a rebirth and now we're now dealing with second and third generations of young girls who want to be involved in wrestling or another maybe dominant sport that's primarily men Go for it, try it, you know? Don't let someone discourage you, but go after your dreams, do what you want, and succeed. Don't give up on your dreams, you know? I'm, I'm unfortunately, I received some injuries, and so I'm, you know, I have some physical disabilities and such, but I continue to participate and try and encourage our fans and even people who are new to knowing what GLOW is, 
to get on YouTube. Look up Glow Wrestling. Look up the Royal Hawaiian, you know, Hollywood, Lightning, all of us, all of our matches are there. Even though it's 30 years later, you can learn about Glow, see what it was about, how it evolved, and become a Glow fan. We're on the internet, you can look up Glow Wrestling. All of the girls have, you know, social media, and just see what it's about. It's been a good thing. So Glow Girls are here to stay, okay? So before I exit out of this and hopefully without a broken arm or a spleen, um, there's something I really do want to get out. Please, oh please, oh please, if you haven't already seen the Netflix show, wait. Go watch the actual Glow documentary. Go online and watch some of the matches and then watch the Netflix series because you gotta know the truth before you get to see the fiction. Because I promise you, it's like watching Beyond the Match. I'm oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, Beyond the Mat, sorry. And then watching, well, The Wrestler. It's good, but you know, there's more behind it. So with that said and done, see, this is happening. So, so this is happening. Ah! I'm- I'll be nice. <laughs> You're lucky I'm injured. <laughs> I'm Leo Styles and I'm still in one piece. Later. Aloha. So, come down to the island. I'm having fun. I'm also having a good time. I just like to come down. Oh, <laughs> my